I'd really recommend watching Todd's series on the Rondel Dagger. The final test had some surprising results. I'd always thought that their main use was to just go through the gaps, like in these pictures here. But seeing it go through everything that they tested it on really made me wonder if there's something to these images as well. We know that poleaxes and lances could definitely go through armour. We have accounts of it. Some people have criticised the test because flat plate is not the same as armour. But in Todd and Matt's defence, I don't think either of them expected it to go through the mild plate in the way that it did. I'm excited because if we take these results seriously and look at the manuscript evidence, there's a lot of tests that we can have fun doing. And I'll leave you with this. If a rondel dagger couldn't go through plate, then why is this guy blocking? <laughs>